Rupuje, Tashi Dele, Tashi Dele, Mr. Lee, Tashi Dele, Tashi Dele. I don't know where to start with you, Jet Lee. <laughs> Rev J. Wait. Mong Kano. Marshall. Artist. <clears throat> of ultimate class. <laughs> and meditator of an ultimate class. What a joy to be in the room. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my daughter Sarah. Thank you very much. First of all, thank you very much for your time. Mm. Most welcome. This is the first time I'm talking to a Rinpoche on camera, actually. Yes. I feel a little bit sentimental because of the grace of so many lamas that I have had in the past. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to remember first lama I had an opportunity to see, the great Tulgur Rinpoche one of the greatest masters of our time, and your dad, your father. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to Chukini Rinpoche, who introduced me to Buddha Dharma. Uh, I'm indebted to Chukini Rinpoche for doing that. I don't know anything about Dharma, in fact, you know, except that I have affections from lamas, you know. Uh, she's my daughter, Sarah, as I introduced. She's a student of Chogini Rinpoche and Namka Rinpoche. All oh, right, wonderful. Uh, Mr. Lee, I have not seen one of your, I have not seen any movie of yours. Good. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but I am aware of your big, big, big name in Hollywood or all over the world. But w once the opportunity came to have a conversation with you, I checked you on YouTube, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw a few clips of yours, you know. You look deadly and dangerous <laughs> and very aware. I would like to start with you, Mr. Lee. What is the difference between conflict, violence, and self-defense? So, I just a little bit introduce my background. Please. Just for that question. Uh, when I was eight years old in mainland China, I learned martial arts. In China, we call wushu. The words wushu, one part is a stop. The other part is a fighting. Stop fighting. Oh, first part is what? Stop. Stop. Stop fighting. Stop, stop fighting. The character of wu in Chinese, part of, part of it means to cease, to main, like remain like remain stillness and another part just within one character has two aspects, right? Yeah. The other part is to fight the weapon. Stop yeah. weapon. Yeah. Stop fighting. Oh really? Yeah. So that's the skill you learn this. And when we talk talk about the self defense, violent, you know, this really, really depends. Who's talking? Okay. Right? Just like uh, I play a lot of movie, I sometimes I play, play the good guy. Yeah. Wow, well, there's somebody called hero. Sometimes I play the bad guy. Then mm. violent. Mm. No. So Jedi is good guy and bad guy. We don't know. We just play different parts. Mm. So also in the beginning the martial art, what we call the pub public, a lot of people call Kung Fu, Kung Fu, you know, easier. Why they start this? They fight for the nature. Because you need to be strong, you need a cute animal, you need to get a food, survive. 
That's the start. But if small animal we kill easier, if the tiger, if the bear, you know, you need a little skill. I, in front of you, try to touch, you know, kill you, then I run. The tiger will chasing you. But the other two guys win behind. So three guys play that. That's the shoe. Wu shoe. You need a skill to fight with the big animals, right? That's the idea. But in the few thousand years ago, you know, small village, they need to protect themselves. Son, they need all the men be strong, you know, to protect. If a lot of people come, they need to try so hard. So who's violent? Is the, the other group come to take your food? Will you defense? Which violent? Which self-defense? Really depends which point you're standing in. Even today, I think, you talk about this group of people, he said, where are the hero of this guy? And the other group, that's ah, the most dangerous bite. <laughs> right? Different angle changed. They give different words to explain that person, reaction, action, whatever. So, for me, especially I uh, learning the Buddhism, after learning the Buddhism, you know, uh, with uh, Guru, my Guru Mingyu I have a lot of Gurus, that I more understand all the words depends on who's talking. This party people will talk about their hero. The other group is the bad guy. Mm. In the middle of some group say, I don't care bad guy and good guy. I just uh, don't know why they're fighting. So you were saying that depends who is talking. Like in Middle East, at the moment, Israelis are saying that we are fighting in self-defense. You know? And you ask a Palestinian, they will also say the same thing. You know? In a little bit time difference, right? Yeah. Who's, I always doesn't know who's revenge first. You know, usually, you know, the, a lot of people heard small group people, then they say self-defense, a lot of action movie like that. Your parents, get uh, hurt, your daughter get hurt, even American, your dog get uh, killed, you will beat them up. Mm. That everybody say, you're the hero. Mm. But maybe you broke the rule, you break the law, mm. nobody care. Because they think you're revenge. But I always think about it because the Buddha doesn't talk about the karma. Who's revenge first? Who hurt first? We never know. Mm. If after a thousand years, we only see this piece, this moment. Maybe have some first, some second. Right. But for a thousand years, who's first? Five thousand, maybe. Shall we I just think the, the civilization like happened way back ages who, ago. Now who's start? I don't never know. So I usually I don't give the words. Uh, to see who's self debate who's violent. Okay. Yeah, that's my point. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe can I understand? I'll give you all the questions. Also, met work in English, not, no, not good enough, you're not you're good enough you're to, you're to you're explain you're what I'm thinking. Who is talking? Jet Li is talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Thank you. I hope well, people understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, otherwise, whenever you feel that... Uh, oh, it's okay. I think it also makes sense. It makes sense, right? Yeah. If it doesn't make sense in English, you please... Yeah. No, thank you. Uh, before moving to Rinpoche, I would like to ask you one quick question. Mm -hmm. What is the best self-defense? Mm. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people want to know what kind of martial art is the best. You know, what kind of skill you, you know, very strong can kill, you know, a lot of things. Now I say the three steps. The first step, people need to learn the skill with your weapon. Then you too, the skill too good. The weapon is a part of your body. That means human skill is the top. That's the, only the first level. The seventh level, if you want to, uh, we talk about a stop fighting, stop war, right? This, 
if your martial arts are so good, you can stop fighting. Yeah. You don't need to kill them because you have good skill. The second step is without a weapon, but it use, use, you still have a sword from your heart. Okay, you don't have a weapon, but you have a short sword. You still need to protect your own people. You believe that you use the word to stop. That's at the second level. I think it is great. A lot of people in UN try to do this. Yeah. Sometimes work, sometimes best. Mm -hmm. But the highest level, I always think, is a smile. 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 The best weapon is a smile. Because if you see Jesus, you know, they say you hit him at this face, I hit the face, then you not good enough, you not good enough, kick me, then nah, whatever it is. So so angry the enemy. See this? I think five seconds. Then beat you, beat you with your smile. <laughs> beat you, uh, then they become your friend. That's okay, I'm tired. Buddha did a wonderful a lot of religion. I think it always love. Smile is at the beginning. You can warm the other heart. I always say, why I say smile? Because usually you use the use the violent weapons. You only can beat up somebody's body. You cannot change their heart. I beat by you because we're so strong. But I am so sick. But as inside, I still hate you. One day I have children. I have more children. I will kill them, revenge, beat you up. But now I'm sorry. How can change people's only the smile, love, compassion? Then, if I love you more, 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 you hated me three times, then you maybe be from friends. Mm -hmm. Then you love me more, I love you too. You can solve the thousand, thousand years conflict, hate each other. That's the only, I think the only way uh, for all the religions. That's especially Buddhism. I love it because more compassion, more this. You have a great. I, I made I made a movie also this. You the Japanese guy tried to kill me. That's the Hu Yanjia. Oh, how to say? Yeah, how to say the movie? It's a one hero, one very one famous hero. guy. In he, you know, he beat up. Used the skill, beat up the Japanese. The Japanese still hate him. Then he stopped, kill him, move something, win his heart. I think that I, I try to message, you only hurt people, body. You cannot change their mind. One day they will revenge. Then try to show them, smile. Yeah. Smile, love, I think is very important. Thank you. No, sorry, I just try to use English to explain. If you speak Chinese, much easier. Pang yo, xie xie. Yeah. I can I talk to, I'll talk to your son next time. Yeah. He studied in Shanghai, I think uh, Mandarin good. Yeah. <laughs> Rinpoche, uh, I would like to know from you, these days, you know, I come across a lot of people, and one thing which I feel, everybody's angry with everybody these days. Society is so divided on each and every issue, and it's getting further and further divided. We will like to learn more about it. First, uh, Ramji, I would like to know what is the difference, uh, the same question you know, between violence, conflict, and self defense? About your opinion, Mr. Lee. State. Yeah, I think I agree what Mr. Lee said. The highest skill. A smile. So, so what we call power of fear and power of love. Which one is more strong? The power of love is stronger than power of fear. Though, if you are very fearful, you know, you are very strong and you can really defeat many people. But as Mr. Lee said, you can only defeat their maybe body, but you cannot win over their heart. In our tradition, there's a um, story. Ancient time, there's um, a person, 
nomad need to look after animals in the mountain and they don't have shoes maybe 5000 years before no shoes right and they have to walk many places and there's a lot of uh, small rocks thorn barefoot walking everywhere it's very difficult so then but they need to go to many many places look after animals and to survive their life and then someone give idea maybe you can put leather all the path all the small road covered by leather and they did and leather ran out within half kilometer leather finished but but they still need to walk 5 kilometers for day something like that what do you think what is the answer <laughs> so someone give answer someone said you cannot cover this leather to many places even if you cover entire world not nice but you can cover one place just your feet two feet tiny leather if you cover that wherever feet goes you protect it the leather goes so what we call the real enemy is in our mind it is the hatred craving ignorant what we call three clashes if you transform that into love compassion wisdom awareness then of course you still might go through something in the you might have some enemy but long term you will win the others can win so it will be win win situation i more or less agree with you but sometimes i feel that fear can also win for some time but not in long term but since the life the people don't see long term visions these days you know so fear is quite powerful thing <laughs> isn't that mr lee fear is a coaching <laughs> Yeah, because I think the whole education in the world we lose something. <laughs> we lose something. We're teaching only one part. We lost the other part. Just like I, you know, recently talked to the people in Malaysia, in Taiwan. I say, I learning martial arts. I eat beef. You you don't want to fight. Then why are you learning? Then say be healthy, right? learning some skill be healthy so i say you don't need to learn so healthy because internet it would look at everybody know you know you need a healthy food a see doctor you know training loose weight in you know, a walking car blah everybody know how to keep your body but we forget we have a mind body and mind is a balance well, it will only teach you all the education only teach you physical nobody tell you the how to train your mind that's a big problem is martial art a physical thing or a mind thing the highest is a mar- uh, physical and mind together but after the thousand thousand years we lose the mind part the mind they don't train it anymore <laughs> so that's a very uh i think it is very sad, sad. sad. so that's why i try to study buddhist uh Taoism. Now, finally, I study Buddhism to find uh, how to f- share the, the other part. You are training the other part. Highest martial art is mind and body together. Of course, of course. You know how the training part. Uh, this, this is called a healthy. The other part, happy. If you have to choose between one, okay. one of them, mind and body, what would you choose? <laughs> if I only have a body, I don't have a mind, just like a teacher. It's like a machine, right? If you only have body, no mind, you're like a machine or robot. Then if I only have a mind, I don't have a body, then where to go? The mind is where? In the air? Nobody can see it. Yeah, only mind, then the body cannot, the, the mind would lose. They need to work very, they cannot separate. You only have a sun, no moon. You only have a heart, no code. What so would right. you say about it? Right. You have to choose between mind and body. <laughs> In meditation, you cannot choose one. Horse and rider, 
what we call body is like horse mind is like rider so even when we meditate we have to have position meditation posture and then natural breathing and then working with the mind so I need to work together independent they are connect each other can it happen rimbuche during the higher stages of the big meditators like you that uh, you can separate your mind and body and don't need the body no need to separate so body has three layers okay. this is a gross body then we have subtle body and then there we have wisdom body <laughs> so mind and body always together even you achieve the highest level there is still body so what we call cup and the water in the cup the cup is like body and the water is like mind so they are interdependent mind and body even in buddhism when you fully enlightened what we call mind become vajra mind the body become vajra body Sally, uh, people, when I read newspapers or when I write in newspapers or I've been an editor, most of the news which we put in newspaper or in television is the negative news or the bad news, saying that the world has become this violent and that violent. But sometime in my moments of introspection, I feel that this is the best time that Earth is having in the last 5,000 years. You know, There is much less violence. today than 5000 years back you know even 70 80 years back there was a world wars were going how is the world moving in your opinion i think uh, the technology in past 40 years it's a uh, change a lot because when i grew up uh, the only thing i knew is my small area in the mass school have something happen you know after this even the same city there are kill people who are there car as them i don't know i don't know mm. so i think it's just like a part pass i imagine you know i'm a filmmaker i always imagine maybe you live in china hindu they're fighting their cute million people in china they don't know the information they don't know each other so that's why the thought is okay but today because of technology even the children everybody wake up through the cell phone ipad you know you seek worst news is this the better time to live than the old times you know what i'm trying to ask is that i feel that the world is a better place to live today than it was yesterday no it really depends on who living there if yeah. you feel today is happy then yeah, yeah. that's a mean Billions of people same feeling, you know. In the in the ancient, maybe the people living there, no food, no electricity, but they're so happy. We don't know. So I like see big picture. So today, children, you know, look at the cell phone, lot of bad news. Then you look one minute, they have a lot of bad news gave to you. Mm. Oh, killing, 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 killing! The disaster, disaster! War, war, war! Who's saying this? Wow, wow, a lot of things. So they make the world become smaller, smaller. All the information through your go to your head. Now you see, oh, terrible the world, terrible the world, terrible the world. Yeah, and then you think of worse now. Can we say that we are physically better off, but mentally we are lost today? Uh, I think that's I say the last question. Um, the education, they. We something we missing in past maybe hundred years. We will only focus say people success how to you know great not be hero then you save the others. But the other side, everybody need to be fair. You know, so 平等啊，努力啊。More mental training is more important. I always think money is not good bad. Who use it? How to use it? The computer not bad or good, but how to You use it. You use it. all the world's news. You why was headache? Free. If you see good things, see happy things, helping people, the also machine AL will give you all nice things. Then if you only look at this, wow, wonderful world. 
everything news. Great. All the good news because the other, I don't want to see it. Is fame good or bad? What? Film. That's fame, fame. Fame. Uh, 这个名名誉啊，名声，名声，名气啊，这些是好的还是坏的呢 ？How to use it? Yeah. How to use it? If you're so selfish, if you only care about yourself, you're famous. Nobody care because you're famous. You, 你没有为这个社会和周围做出一些改变。Even though you are famous, you have no contribution to the society, to people around you. Then there is no need, you, no you use for the fame. That wouldn't go long, yeah. The people love you. Like I, why I'm doing this because all a lot of people like me. Then I need to do something for the people because they love me. I need to love them. I need to try my best to give everything you know I can. Like、uh, in China, I did some charity. I help million millions of people, a lot of people. That here we want to share, you know, what we lost, learning more, you know, training. I say I know training body. I know why was young. Now I learn training my. I learn how to training for past twenty years. Then how to share with people. Money can keep your happy short time. Name can keep your. Short time, but if you learn something from inside, you can happy much happier than before. Really, because I'm so famous in China, I people say, "Oh, JD, JD," I'm I frustrated. I only in China. I need to be Asia power. Then I try very hard in eighties. Then I'm very famous in Asia. Then everybody chanting, "Wow, you're here!" I said, "No good. I only make twenty million Hong Kong dollars." Look, America. They make twenty million U.S. dollars. I need to be better. Then I go to the America. I try so hard. Then I make something happen. Then I say, "Wow! Now finally, I got a Hollywood movie. I proved I can do it." Then I look at the other people. They just make a call, buy this star market afternoon, sell this star market. They make fifty million. <laughs> They are suffering. Wow! I so. Stupid! I use my body. I try so hard. Million people look、yeah. me like a hero, but I look me as so stupid. That people just sit in there. They have a good education. They just make a cough. <laughs> so they make money. <laughs> Terrible life, you know. Because of the whole education, we want to go out, get more, more power, more name, you know. Everything more, 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 more. So what's the more? You know, see, that's the question. My feeling is,、uh, though we are physically better off now, even in Nepal's village compared to old time when you grew up in Nubri, you know, North Gorka, the place, your birthplace, and even in cities also, life is slightly better than it used to be. But、uh, on emotional level and on the mental level, you know. Uh, there is a lot of suffering now.、Uh, we see the cases of depressions, which not seen in Nepal many years back before.、Uh, you have used a word called monkey mind, you know, monkey mind. Yes. How to train our mind, you know? And do you have any comment on what just Mr. Lee said right now about this、uh, uncontrollable greed, uncontrollable? Yeah, so what we call the monkey mind、yeah. is restless normally, always looking for stimulation,、yeah. and and then the monkey mind always look at the negative aspect. So normally, what we call, if we have ten qualities, one negative, nine positive. So normally, monkey mind only look at. One negative aspect. Oh, and we don't look at the nine good quality.、Oh. Not only that, then we exaggerate that one negative aspect. So what we call, we are making mountain, the mole hill, you know, ants ants how small look like mountain, ants、yeah. like mountain. So mountain out of mole hill. Mountain out of mole hill. Yeah. yeah. So that's the how the monkey mind does. So, 
as you said, maybe now oral is become better. <laughs> In general level, of course, there's a, the education also improve, the health care improve, the convenient electricity, mm -hmm. more convenient, less crime, all these are there. But of course, there's a lot of up and down, up and down. That's normal. What we call impermanent. Mm -hmm. Our life is like wave of the ocean, always go up and down. Life is like stock market, always go up and down. But what I feel, maybe one thing is going down. What is going down? Our mind. Mind become more sensitive now. Like recently I came from UK mm -hmm. and there's scientific research. They said the number one cost for men or the death is suicide. Number one cost for the men in the in UK. So there's so many places like that because as you said, depression, panic attacks, loneliness, stress. So when I was young, in my hometown, Samagaon, my hometown from the Gorkha, next to Manasilu, Samagaon, and sometimes we can see magazine, you know, magazine about the Paris, about the USA. I look at that in, in the picture. I said, wow, this is like God realm. God realm. God realm. Yeah. God house. People are, must be very happy. We are in the mountain, may not be happy, maybe. Maybe they are very happy. So then, first time, I went to France when I was uh, 21 years old. I arrived in Paris. Then there's a tall tower called Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. I went up there. Very nice view. But everywhere, there's a like iron bar. And the, the window totally closed. And I asked them, why is it not open here? Because it's a nice view and we can see many places. And they said they cannot open because people sometimes jump. And I feel shocked. Really? It's so like God ram here. Why they're not happy? <laughs> <laughs> so then later I discover monkey mind doesn't change. <laughs> the material thing, the as Mr. Lee mentioned, the fame not satisfying more, more, whatever you get, even you become the top, still not happy. What we call hollow inside, that's not satisfying. Dissatisfaction or incompleteness is always there. But then how we can be more happy? So normally in our meditative tradition, what we call, the more you connect with your innate qualities, like if you connect with the awareness, I learned meditation when I was young, nine years old, because I had panic attacks. And my father told me to meditate on the breathing. And I feel it's very bored, like boring, stupid. I'm breathing every day. Why I have to think every day I'm breathing? <laughs> so I sit there, you know, I thought it's five minutes. Actually, it's just one minute. <laughs> And I hear my friends are playing down there. And I watch this boring breathing, you know, today breathing in, breathing out. Next day, breathing in, breathing out. But eventually, feels happy. Why we are connecting with awareness. Another example, if you help others, if you do social work, then you really feel happy, right? If you can help somebody, you really feel happy. You feel like this is meaningful that hollow, that feeling of uncompleteness will be filled by the action and the feeling of love and compassion. And if you learn things, if you develop wisdom, study, eventually you feel more confident, you feel more happy. So three things, awareness, love and compassion, wisdom, that can satisfy that can connect with your, your fundamental quality, then you will have lasting happiness. Not like temporary one Mr. Lee was having, right? From China to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to America. Singapore, Singapore to Hollywood. Right? No, America, America, Europe, Europe, and go back to China, then go to Singapore. <laughs>
You were born in China, then later moved to USA and uh, became American Hong citizen. Kong first. Yeah, Hong, Hong Kong, Kong first. And then, yeah. and then now you are a Singapore. Sing Singaporean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it make a difference which passport you hold? Um, I always, usually I don't an answer this kind of question, but you ask, I just try to try my best to use English to answer. You have every right to no, no, no. not answer this question also. Usually I will say, i made in China. I belong to the world. <laughs> you know, like material. You made in China, yeah. but you belong to the world. Because I make an action movie. I think a few things is in the national... Uh, somehow kind of international language. Like a, like a, a sports, sports, sports. Uh, music. You know, a lot of things that, of course, martial art. Uh, when I was little, I traveling around the world like, since 11 uh, until 16 in 1970. I traveled around the world, 40 countries, something. And especially make a movie. A lot of people love, love me. So, you know, whatever African people, Middle East, American, uh, Asian people love me. So I need a lot of them. And then, Whatever I go to make a movie, they can show all over the world. So I think a passport for me is uh, like a travel, you need a travel convenience. Sometimes you're working convenient, one time you travel with. Because I always love the history. Because if he see the history, then you know, understand, more understanding next 5,000 years. The history can reflect so much to the current. Because my culture, they tell me, the man, you need to show by Tianxia. Yeah, in Chinese culture, we say that the real man should have such a vision for the whole world. Uh, not the whole world. No. After sky, Tianxia. Oh, yeah. Even bigger than the world. Bigger than the world. Yeah, yeah, under the sky. Under so you, the man, the real man, you need the, you know, response for the under sky. The, after all the beans, that means all the beans, you need to take responsibility. They're not teach me you only care about Chinese. Right? Because the ancient time, even no Chinese, there have many, many small countries. Then they five, five, maybe thousand, thousand units until Qin Dynasty, then they become the one country. But the culture beyond that is like you in your chase, heart, huh? Mm, yeah. Xiong Fai, right. how to say? Yeah, you how the direct trans yeah. in your heart. You need the compassion, love under the sky, all the bit. That means I'm learning from that. Now I believe that because people love me. Whatever they're in the you know, Middle East, the black people, they say, I'm JD, my brother, yeah, man, hey, you know, everybody say the same. Middle East, oh, JD, you're my hero, you kick the white guys, you know. <laughs> I said, very name, my brother. So I always try to do something, you know, to pay, pay back to people who love me, especially uh, learning the Buddhism. You need the compassion, you need the love, all the beings, not the, only the human. Even the animal. At what point in your life the Buddhism came, you know, when you start practicing? Oh, uh, I learned martial arts, then I made my first movie. The first movie, movie called the Shaolin Temple. Shaolin, yeah. yeah. Shaolin Temple is a Chinese monk. <laughs> right? I think Shaolin, you know the Shaolin? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shaolin is uh, India, the first Zen master come to China. Then I make the movie. Then I stay, you know, that time, 1980, beginning, 80, 1980? 1980s. So, make the movie, I'm also take 10 months. You need a weather, you know, waiting in the sunshine, this way you should. Next day, you need the sunshine, set an angle. <laughs> no, technology can make <laughs> everything happen. So, we always stay in the temple. I sit here, I sit here, I sit here. I don't know, I just saw it. very interesting. Very familiar, a lot of things. I don't know why. I don't know why. Then I become a little bit 
after the movie, I little bit famous. That a lot of people, you know, find me that nowhere to run. A lot of reporter. You're so happy to first one, 10, after 100, you hate a reporter. <laughs> you hate everybody. Yeah. You want to skip yeah. because you don't have any your personal time. Yeah. That I, where to hide? That I, only way is hiding in the temple. Yeah. <laughs> in the temple, the master will protect me. Yeah. Uh, no, no jelly here. He's in the outside, so I can sit there. Ah, very peaceful. <laughs> so usually I will hiding in the temple. So I really become Buddhist is uh, 1997. 1997. Become Tibetan Buddhist. Okay. Yeah. Now I learned. Who was the teacher? The uh, so one Tibetan master. And how to describe Sri the master. Okay. Yeah. 1997. 1997. Because, yeah, because that year is Asian economy crash. You know, just like I say, the crash that I see people face, rich people, so frustrated, so angry, you know, so everybody, their face is unhappy, suffering, suffering, suffering. Let me think about it. Wow. People work with me. They may be lost a few thousand, uh, 10,000, you know, 几万块啊, 100,000, something, they unhappy. But a lot of people, Lost million dollars, they're unhappy. The richest people maybe lost a billion dollars, they're unhappy. Everybody so unhappy. How's the the mm -hmm. The quantity is different, but make their unhappy is the same. I said, "Wow, wait a minute, there's something wrong there. Why is everybody doesn't unhappy?" Now you think about it, the others, the Chinese Chinese people just love love uh, sports Olympics. When they win, the whole country. <laughs> now you look at Europe, the soccer, they got a World Cup, the whole country celebration. And I think, mm, the president celebration, the people in the jail, <laughs> they're also exciting. You know, whenever the beans in that country, they're just cheating, <sighs> happy. So it doesn't mean you need the money, power, love, just something they love each other that they're just happy. So I'm thinking what what are we lost? What's the meaning about my life? If I go to the journey and, and tell I'm eighty, well I was seventy, well like sixty I'm died, was why I'm living like this. There must be missing something. You know. Now I figure very out. interesting. That was then I yeah. because you're famous you 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 have some friend rich people, politics people. You know, they, 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 they're happy, but four years later, they, eight years, they, not the president anymore. They're lonely. They're also suffering. <laughs> Everybody's suffering. Yeah. This question also bothers me. Uh, I saw a prime minister mm -hmm. uh, and looked into his eyes, you know, deep mm -hmm. in one-to-one -one room, not in the uh, kind of a place, you know, I looked deep into his eyes. I see unhappy. Mm -hmm. Then I went to his opposition leader. I thought if the prime minister is not happy, opposition leader must be happy. I looked at his face, deep into his eyes, unhappy. I looked into the eyes of a rich man, unhappy. Poor man, unhappy. Uh, this question, this statement which you made is very, very powerful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. This because, is because I thought that day, you know, I just think about um, who's the happiest guy. You know, even Bill Gates, even Bill Gates, he's you know lost a lot of billions. You know, e economy drive. He's then maybe well, who is the happiest guy? Then look at the book. Then I thought, wow, there is the guy called the Sakyamuni Buddha. Oh, Sakyamuni Buddha. Yeah, everybody want to. More power, famous, more king, more love. <laughs> He's the princess. He will be the king. He have all the power, right? Then he has all all money. Everybody, the whole country money is him. 
You can say that. Then he said, love a lot of girls. No problem. Don't need to hide. Today, rich people, you need to hide. Yeah. You love one, it's okay. You know, if you love five, you need to hide them. So they're not free. And what if what we, he's a suffering. He's a suffering. This is all the human want to be princess, be the king. Then he's a suffering. Why he's suffering? Now he read the whole thing. Then he said, oh, I can, even I have that power for major power. I cannot, well, I, I also need to die old. <laughs> I cannot change that. So that's a very serious question. Then he tried to study it. Six years later, he said, I find how to be real happy. I said, wow. Then 2,500 years, a lot of people study this journey. They'll be happy. They're not stupid. King, you know, a lot of successful people study. Like, what did he study? I want to figure out. Then I just try full time, <laughs> most of my life to learn what he learned, what he shared with us. That's uh, my journey. Okay. Are you happy now? Yeah, because I figure out, I tell a lot of people, 50 years ago, I say, hey, we're naked, come. Can somebody with naked come to the world? Come life. We come naked to the world. Yeah. Can somebody tell me your brain, lot of money, gold, come to the earth? No. Yeah. All the baby come naked. When we go, three rope, maybe five. Three pieces of clothes when you die. Then go into the coffin. Yeah, that's the only thing. Everything you try so hard in your life. Think about it. You just keep it. Short time, keep it. You're the borrowed. Yeah, you kind of borrowed and you, you, keep, you keep it. Yeah, you keep it. Then you love it, you want it, you whatever. You need to give it to the next, next generation. Give your daughter, you know, give your son. That belongs to you. You're the housekeeper. You're the money keeper. You're the name keeper. Not belong to you. This is not necessary. It's yours. You need to understand that part. I think it's happy. Rinpoche, you were born in a very remote, very poor village in Nepal. Nobody, you know. North Korea, very, very difficult those days. Even now, it's not easy to go there. From there, uh, you have come such a long way, you have students all over the world, countless students who look up at you with great hope and also with a great love and affection and gratitude because of your guidance to them. You have written books which have been in New York Times bestsellers. And more important than that, three for three years, you just disappeared, right? No money in your pocket, despite having so much as a background. Uh, what has been three most important realizations for you in life, you know? Three or four, maybe, uh, that you can share in general. I think first important is the appreciation, gratitude. So we never satisfying, right? The Buddha said, Dukkha. Dukkha. Dukkha meaning dissatisfaction. So sometimes, even we become rich, powerful, or famous like him. Who? <laughs> <laughs> or, or anything. Uh, he, he, or, famous. he already understood this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, deeper level cannot satisfy. There's hollowness or incompleteness, or something is missing. But then when we begin to learn appreciation, gratitude. So Buddha said, Buddha is from Nepal, and Buddha said, not just he, he enlightened already, he has this enlightened quality, not only him, he has that. Everybody has this enlightened quality. Yeah. Doesn't matter who they are. So everybody has awareness, 
love and compassion, wisdom that possess everybody fundamental level. So the problem is we need to discover that. There's no issue whether you are or not. We are. We are Buddha. Everybody is a Buddha. But the problem is we don't know. We are not recognized. So Buddha gave example. If there's a diamond, diamond is covered by mud, remain in the mud, then you clean the mud and you put the diamond on the shrine. So there's two situations with the one diamond, right? If someone asks, which diamond is better? Same. Diamond is same. But the difference is one is covered by mud, one is free from mud. So therefore, all of us are Buddha, but our Buddha is covered by mud. So what is mud? Aversion, craving, ignorance, then karmic imprint, and then we have this body, the outer world, the subject and object, all this cover. So how to discover the diamond insight? The first important is appreciation, gratitude. And you can begin with the simple things. So appreciation is very important. Appreciating what we have. Appreciate what you have about you, about others, about the world. And second important thing is for me is now first appreciate and second you need to learn the technique to how to connect with your, yourself. So I learned this technique like awareness. So awareness is like diamond, our inner diamond, our inner Buddha. But we need to discover that how to do that. Begin with the breathing, begin with the sound, begin with the, actually you can meditate everywhere, anytime, with any object. And not only that, we have love and compassion, 24 hours the innate love and compassion. So we need to connect with that one. And the final is the wisdom. So when we skill to connect with these qualities within us, then it will manifest. So there's a second important for me to discover these qualities within yourself. Technique, learn the technique. Third important for me, to help others. Your people close to you, your friends, your family, society, to the world, whatever you can. So I learned these techniques from my, begin by my, my father, then other, after that I have many other teachers. Now I'm really eager to share this to the world. Yeah, Rimji, one thing that comes to my mind again and again is that these days as the Buddha's teachings is spreading all over the world, you have a student all over the world, people like him or any other people, but in Nepal, we as a Nepalese, why we are not that keen to learn? We know Buddha, we all say Buddha was born in Nepal. We have a bumper sticker, Buddha was born in Nepal. That's all. It's just like me saying, Minja Rinpoche was born in Gorkha. You know, I, I tell you, Mr. Lee, do you know that? Minja Rinpoche was born in Nubri village. I've been to Nubri village in Gorkha. And besides that, I don't know anything about Minja Rinpoche, what he taught, what he thinks, you know. Why we are not that keen on spreading the teaching some Buddha to the Nepalese society as we should have been. It's not that we are not not that the young generation doesn't know we are people like uh, these two gentlemen, Achyut, he, because of him I'm here and Masam. Uh, but I think that uh, don't you think that we should be able to do more? Or is the society not interested? Or where is the missing link? You know? Mr. Lee has come all the way from Hollywood to learn with you, but we can't come from Kathmandu to learn from you. Why? You or so many other teachers talking to you there. I'm also asking some question. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe the um, the our normal culture normally we learn from three sources: one from teacher, second from community. Community. Maybe we have not enough community to learn each other. And the third is from the books or from the text or whatever. So I'm now, now just thinking about how I can, I mean, I learned this Buddha Dharma from Buddha and Buddha was being born in Nepal. And this really changed my life and really benefit. So I really want to eager to share. 
to the, my home country in Nepal. So that's the, my um, also intention. Saira, do you want to ask anything to Rinpoche? Yeah, Rinpoche, I do have a question. I think uh, today, like, everybody knows that you should meditate. Everybody, like, thanks to your contribution, everybody else's contribution as well. Like, you've made it so accessible, particularly for the younger generation. And uh, you've made our minds and our thoughts feel less scary to just sit with. But knowing that meditation is good for you and practicing meditation is very different. Practicing is very difficult, right? So my question to you, Rupche, is how do you cultivate compassion towards yourself in this journey when you are repeatedly, you know, facing discouragement and defeat and the kind of guilt and shame that also comes with not being able to do what you know is good for you. So normally, when we learn meditation, we need to learn compassion together. So for example, maybe the first meditation technique could be your own breathing. Uh, do you know your breathing now? You know, right? That's all. That's the what we call awareness. And just keep Reminding yourself, okay, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in again, breathing out. Then what happened? Now the complaints or worries, suggests about the life, about the situation, the monkey mind will come. Bala, 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 yada, yada, yada. What do we have to do? Let them come. So what we call learning okay with not okay. So whatever that bothering you, let them come. Whatever worry, let them come. So when we begin to allow these mistakes, um, disturbing thought or happy thought or middle, doesn't matter. When allowed, that is the self-compassion. The beginning of self-love, self-compassion. So learning okay with not okay, that's the first one. Second, you're... You say, okay, 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 and then totally lost. Then the problem again, right? <laughs> so you're not totally lost. You come back to the breath again, again, just glimpse. If you remember your breathing, dalbat, dalbat, you know, food. If the dalbat comes, okay, breathing in, one dalbat comes, breathing out, another dalbat comes, breathing in, two dalbat come, then become 10 dalbat, no problem. But if you try to stop thinking, then what happened? You think more. So normally what I call, when you said, don't think about Dalbat, what happened? Then many, many, many Dalbat will come. <laughs> so that is what we call aversion. And that is not only Dalbat. Whatever happened in our life, we feel guilt. We feel disappointed. We feel sad, depressed, panic. All this source is aversion. When you say, no, 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 monkey mind says, yes, yes, yes. So you're learning skill in your mind how to free that aversion with the breathing. Okay with not okay, but then not totally lost. Come back to the breath again, again, again. So two skill there, right? Number three, what we call wisdom. Wisdom meaning you're being with the breath as it is. Meaning you don't, need to, you don't need to control your breath. You don't need to do pranayam. You don't need to do anything. This is like meditation. With this, with this meditation, it's natural breath. So breath is calm, okay. Breath is ir ir irregular, okay. Breath is um, shallow, okay. Deep, okay. Anything is okay. Just being with the breath as it is, develop wisdom. So, you develop wisdom, you develop love and compassion, and you develop awareness with the breath. And you can do another meditation technique. I think Nepal, India, Tibet, I think we are really into mantras. You can use a mantra also. So, one famous mantra in the Tibetan community is Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. 
and you can recite that Om Mandi Padme in the mind. Close your mouth. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme in the mind. So if you can recite this mantra in the mind, that's also become meditation. Mantra and meditation together. Buy one, get one get free. One. <laughs> <laughs> but then at the same time, monkey mind will come. Let them come, let them go. But not totally lost. I think we are just so uh, not used to being okay with being not okay. I think whenever we're not okay, everyone around you also tries to make you feel okay, right? Whether it's your parents or friends, they're like, oh, why aren't you okay? Like, they, it's such a bad thing to just not be at 100% all the time. And I think that's a skill that we need to practice as well to just say, I am not okay, and I think that's fine. Uh, Mr. Lee is very happy with you. Thank you. <laughs> you can ask him a question. <laughs> do you have a question for Mr. Lee? One. I, I do, actually. So on a similar kind of a thread, but you're obviously a master of many martial arts. Like you've kind of, what I think is that any mastery requires a lot of discipline, right? Like it's kind of impossible to do something really well without discipline, but also like when we think of discipline, we think of it as something very harsh, something very rigid, and we can be very pressurizing on ourselves to do something, you know? So my question to you is, what role does compassion towards yourself play when you have to be so focused and like not really waver? No, sorry. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me sort of clear your question, and I can. And he said, because it's practicing the Wu Gong Jia, your Wu Shu, ha, in practicing, it requires a lot of discipline. It is, we are requiring that we should be very strict, and sometimes we are very harsh. So, Sarah's question is, in this situation, how do we keep our self-respect? 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 How do we keep our 也也也能够保持住一种呃，你必须要在很专注或者要求很严格，或者你要达到某些训练。但是呢，你要怎么去平衡？可能是这样。I think、uh, for me, just my experience, I want to share just uh, uh, motivation, very important. Because I was eight years old, old learning wu shu. That was the motivation. The teacher will tell you, get the champion. Get the number one in China. <laughs> you know, everybody wanted this. I try my best. Then that become a goal. I try, 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 try. I think if you want to get that goal from your heart, all the trouble is, so all the things not trouble, not trouble at all. My schoolmates they play, bing bong tennis. They play a lot of things. I only focus because. My teacher tell me this. My mom want me be champion. I want to. That you know, you lost a lot of 童年的生活 Yeah, the childhood is basically filled with practice because of I want to go right. But why make a movie? The goal is not the first. I think it is not the how popular. I mean, how popular? Nineteen years old. Popular doesn't matter. I want the money. I want the money. <laughs> really, right? I want to prove I can make the money. Give my mom, sister, you know, show I'm a little bit special. I can make it. So because you want that million dollars, even the Chi Hong Kong dollars, we try so hard because that's the goal. I get that goal. I lost everything. It's okay. I want to get that. So same time, I want to be beyond the living and diving. No, I cannot say. I want one lifetime become Buddha. That's inside I can see it, but a little bit shines.、Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but inside I tell me this: I can do it. Then I can try so hard, all the sufferings, all the things. I don't care. I'm in Hollywood. I make movie. They make up maybe one hour. I train you. Then they lighting. I train you. Whatever I do, I just train you because I want to. As quick as possible, possible to get that goal. Then, 
two uh two thousand nine, they have way big things. I have Wen Wei. They pay me hundred million Chinese dollar, like a twelve million US. The other movie, Wen Yuan. One dollar. One, one dollar. Less dollar. Yeah. Huh? S- seven oh. times smaller. Yeah. One Chinese dollar, which is less. Chinese <laughs> yuan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You read the sutra, you know, a lot of things. Fang xia, fang xia, you know, don't worry, don't worry. I think, yeah, everybody said, yeah, great idea, I like it. But real fang xia, later. I need to make more money than I practice. I make more money than I practice. A lot of, you know, friends will tell the same thing. Excuse, you know, next week, I make money. I like, I just try to tell me, because I want one lifetime to get there. Then I turn down the hundred million dollars. I just make the movie. I thought every day I working, I think I'm suffering or not. In a few days, I'm so happy. But 20 days, I'm so, shit, I should get out of the <laughs> You know, first you say you're brave. I want to be something, you know, do something. Seven days later, you know, what, what, I want to get a million, hundred million first. Then I get this. You know, the proof I can do it. Then I do. If you don't brave enough to step one step, you don't have a second third. So after a while, I feel very comfortable uh, to do whatever I want to do, whatever I believe to do, because I have a very focused target. If you don't have a target, with lifetime. To fire your diamond is quite difficult. <laughs> Most of the people have the lukewarm target, right? Huh? Most of the people have lukewarm. They don't have the target or the determination like you. So the question comes So the question comes, discipline is very important. I want to have big target but no discipline. What is the most important thing to have a discipline? You are a master martial art. What is maybe when the yeah, what was learned just training a hour a day very like that at school. That grew up like what is the single most important thing about the discipline? What gives a person discipline? In? 对于就说这种纪律或者规矩来讲，为就对你来说最觉得最重要的是什么？For me, when I was eight years old, six o'clock, you need to wake up, running the four hundred, like four hundred meters, that chain. Twenties, if you do the right one, the master will kill you, will beat you, beat you, beat you. So you're afraid. <laughs> well, what's the deal? Even though you have a discipline with the meditation and all those things in the puja. 现在的话呢，如果关于禅修或者你在做到法会的时候，你平时的修法上面对你来讲做规有有规矩或者自律是怎么样显显现的，就是它会怎么？啊，because uh, different age, different level, yeah, you have a different kind of motivation. Now I just uh, because I'm very appreciate first of all Tibetan guru. I have a, more than twenty gurus teach me different kind of skill, so. Until now, I just look every day. You wish you always say awareness. If you keep the awareness, then do something, everything is okay. Because it's just like people just like making movie. You know they're making movie, but they don't know they're making movie. <laughs> I know you're making movie. That's why you I like just try the awareness that what's next is the motivation. Guru always teach me, you know, you need to go back to say, hey, my friend, you are in the movie, you have suffering, <laughs> don't worry. You can know, you are also, somebody, you have a dream, you are in the dream. I want to say you are in the movie, <laughs> you know, you all, you need the outside the movie. Uh, you say, uh, That's the movie, that, uh, don't worry. That is, uh, you know what I mean? Whether it is in the martial art or in the meditation, the discipline is very important, right? This is what she was also yeah. asking about. I want to, have a Buddhahood without meditation. You know? mm-hmm. uh, I want to be the master of Ushu without working. You know? I want I have a lukewarm work 
but a very big ambitions you know so ultimately everything comes down to the discipline you know so rimshi how we can have discipline in our own work you know wherever we are working what is your advice two things important first as mr chelly mentioned the mud, the goal <clears throat> so in the meditation i want to meditate not just for myself of course for myself but for my friends family society others like the world is based on individual if you transform yourself that means you are transforming the world because you are part of the world then you can get influence genuine influence to your friends family people around you it's like ripple ripple impact so so that's the very important to see the purpose sense of meaning now second thing maybe sometime you have that motivation but as you said maybe you are lazy lelo pan lelo lelo lazy gan tak par lelo na ta walo it better not i'm always lazy <laughs> that's the only thing he knows and that's it so that how to how to change that so what we call that laziness normally related with the habit habit so habit has very strong force and how to change that you need to do something every day for 30 days let's say if you want to meditate every day 5 minutes you just think i want to meditate every day 5 minutes don't promise too long then you cannot keep simple doable then keep that 5 minutes every day whether you like or not like first week you can do second week oh, no 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 tomorrow tomorrow you know no 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 it's just 5 minutes right it doesn't take so much time do that third week better fourth week quite easy so if you survive end of the 30 day okay every day not breaking 5 minutes then the habit habit comes okay. i'll try from this evening are you sure you shouldn't she will take on you yes. <laughs> okay three quick questions then we are running late for i know it is there uh mr lee somehow i don't believe that this world has any political or economic solution when we look at the world problems we look only through the eyes of a political solution or the economic solutions as i'm getting old i'm coming to realize that this world doesn't have any political or economic solution unless we add a spiritual dimension to it you know if we don't like the word spiritual you might use as a humanistic dimension to it like you were doing a lot of philanthropic work on this issue do you agree or disagree you know to to this thing that unless we add an element of spiritual way of looking at the things whenever somebody asks me about any problem you know be it middle east or the or the latin america or in afghanistan all the prescription that has are supplied to me are either political or the economic only you know? nobody talks about a spiritual dimension to it you know? do you have any comment to that can you just to since that 基本上，在这个世界上，大家都是从政治或者经济的角度去做分析、做立论。那么，看起来就是没有给人性或者说在精神层面的有任何的空间。或除非说你不要就谈到经济跟政政治，那就是纯粹的精神。那所以，呃，请问李先生，在这方面你怎么看呢？就大家只要，因为他是关于政治报道嘛，所以只要他谈到别人在他面前都是关于政治跟经济的。嗯、呃，但怎么？有会，就哪怕不要说什么呃修行啊，就是有人性的。这段我用中文来回答比较容易表达。嗯、I I I I speak Chinese a little bit difficult speak. Yeah. 我记得有一个故事，是真实可能是，有一个人在年轻的时候，他说：“我想改变世界。” Yeah, this seems a true story. Someone said that I will change it. I will change the world when he was young. Twenties, then, 到了三十多了，四十多，他说我要想改变我的国家。When he was twenty, in his twenties, he said I'll change the world. When he turned into like his thirties, he said I'll change my country. Then, 可能 fifty, sixty, 说哦
我想 change 我的 city。And when he reached like fifties, sixties, he said, "Oh, I changed the city I'm living in." Ninety or eighties, he said, "I want to change myself." When he gets to his eighties and nineties, he said, "I want to change myself." That I think that story gave me thinking a lot. I don't know the policies, politics. They they have a professional people to just. 正直的人始终用正直的人，让专业的人去处理；经济让经济的人处理。只是我看这个世界，我能做什么？我觉得我能做的就是说，呃，像他刚才的问题，你可以回答。就像刚才的问题，为什么 logo 的人不那么喜欢，就没那么多年轻的朋友去想学习布德斯的，或者去。Mm, so for different areas, like different fields, politic in political area, political field, professional politicians should really work well there. And for economic economy and the economists, those people in charge of the economy, professional people can work well for that area. And like the previous question you raised for Rinpoche, like why local community? There's so so few young people would be interested in Buddhism. 对我只想或我能改变什么，我能做什么。我觉得就是说，作为我们是否能够想到 local 的朋友、年轻的朋友，他们为什么？他们都在寻找快乐，他们寻找着这个更阳光的啊，比积极的人生。那佛教有这个方法、技术，很多 master 都在你不，但是我们怎么样把它变成更简单的方法，跟年轻的朋友去 share？ So, as in each individual of us here, we should think like what young people would tend to be interested. We have such great traditions, so many masters, and these great skills and techniques for meditation and practice. And we should really look into what's gonna work for young people to be interested in Buddhism, interested in spiritual world. Is I, 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 I
No meaning? Okay. Life has no meaning. Free. <laughs> and no stress. <laughs> Many people come to me, please tell me what is purpose of my life. And, and for me, I, I share my perspective, my purpose of life, two things. First, I try to discover my innate qualities, the awareness, compassion, wisdom. Second, I try my best to share this to others. I try my best to help to more people, whatever people that I can help. So that's the purpose of my life. But sometimes, some people already find a purpose, but they don't know the purpose. They're looking for something very special. But the best special is here. <laughs> but you're looking some special there. So maybe no purpose could be purpose. <laughs> so I think most important is related with compassion, related with wisdom, related with awareness. I think that's really purposeful, meaningful. For example, when you really help others, you feel very happy, right? You find purpose. Helping others, that means you helping yourself also. You don't need to get rid of things from your side, of course. If you become more uh, peaceful, happy, successful, inside, peaceful, happy, spiritual-wise or material-wise, why not? Then you can help more for the others. So sometimes people think in the Buddhism, what we call renunciation. Renunciation means you have to give up everything. This doesn't mean give up. Giving up and letting go are two different things. So letting go, but you don't need to give up. If everything related with the compassion, wisdom, awareness, then what we call win-win situation. Win for you, win for others. All right, how the rest? When you look back at your life, you know, I'm still fascinated by you. Now, first thing I'll do is watch your movie. <laughs> the first one. When you look back, how does it feel? From an eight-year boy that went to a Ushu class, you want, uh, right now, am I real feeling? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I meditate sometimes. I say, who is Jerry? I only need to remember, try so hard, just like a longer dream. You know, you have a dream, right? I have a dream. And when I wake up, the dream I have, in, in the dream, very interesting. Whatever, I'm chasing the girl, or the tiger chase me, you know. <laughs> different dream have a different interesting thing. But when I wake up, I thought, it's not true. But I think life also like this, just longer dream. I'm 60 years old. Turn 61 quickly. 60 years I'm sitting there meditating to look. JD, just like a longer dream. Oh, he's about eight years old learning martial arts, 18 years old, make a movie, quite famous, he get the first. He broke arm, broke leg, and nobody knows. He have a girlfriend, he hiding, you know, and now he make money, he's so happy, he's struggling, he did. A lot of secrets. People only see the shining part. They didn't see my suffering. Sometimes you cut your leg, you know, break it. You only take a shower. You use one hand. It's so, so suffering. Then you cover it. You take a shower. You say, wow, so happy. Now I'm, you take a shower. So that's a dream for me today. You talk about the, oh, Jenny is famous. Who is Jenny? I wake up for the 60 years dream. Doesn't mean anything for me. Tomorrow, future, if I have a chance to make another 10 years, 20 years of life, not coming yet. I just enjoy every day, change, look what I can do, use all the guru teaching me, the compassion, love, how to share with more people, make them change, make them happy. They want to happy because I, through this journey, I'm so happy. Well, beyond happy, because happy there have no happy. Chinese words, guan si zai. Mm. Uh, how to, it's like to be carefree. Uh, you have the wisdom to be careful. That word is 
自在 is more, I think more carefree. Carefree. Yeah, that the good is my feeling. Self. That I think everybody wants this. The how do I can share it? And the young people, whatever you want to ask, I will share. Free, no charge, because my guru never charge me. They only tell me look back, look who's jelly. That's why I have a book come out a few months ago in Taiwan. Jelly find who's jelly. Oh wow! You know, jelly find. Jelly looking for jelly. Jelly looking for jelly. jelly. Wow! Yeah, you, you know that is the I want to share with more people. That book is coming. Uh, it's already published in China. In, in China, in Taiwan, Chinese world, Asia had. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Thank you very much. And at the end of this thing, I would like you to request you to send for all of us in the room, all of us outside the room, all of us some blessings, all of us, all the Nepali people, all the people, all the sentient beings.、Mm. Yeah, I can pray. The four immeasurable prayers: May all beings be happy and have the causes of happiness. May all beings free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all beings have joy and equanimity. Hey, John. I wish everybody healthy, happy, body and mind. Body and mind. Body is healthy, mind is happy. Right? Everybody want happy, healthy. Everybody happy. What a great time I had. Thank you, all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much.